given this to expand using binomial theorem. Here we are going to rearrange before we actually do anything. One is here minus here is x plus x squared and everything is in a bracket to the power of 5. These two have to go together. So this is our a or x and everything here is now our y. It's like saying x minus y to the power of 5. If you have a plus b plus c to the power of n in binomial expansion, it is written as a plus b plus c is 1, then everything to the power of n. Solve this, I will write my answer here, but I need to solve it in combination method. So my first one will be 5 combination 0, then 1, then the other one will be x plus x squared. So the next one will be 5 combination 1. I'm going to have 1 and x plus x squared. Next is 5 combination 2. 1 x plus x squared. The next one is 5 combination 3. 1 x plus x square. The next one is 5 combination 4. 1 x plus x square. The next one is 5 combination 5. 1 x plus x square. Next step, put this in brackets considering this negative. So this negative will go here because it's part of the bracket. Now, putting all the negative for this negative will go with this. So, you consider all the negatives inside the bracket. Then next is consider the powers. Here is 5 and here will be 0. This is 5 and here will be 4. And here is 0, here is 1. 0, 1, this will be 2. This will be 3, this will be 4, and this will be 5. And this is 5, 4, next one will be 3, and this will be 2, and this will be 1, and this will be 0. Next step is to solve this, solve this, solve this, solve this, this, and this, and we're going to finally return all our answers here. This negative is actually affecting this. So the negative is not really inside. It's inside the little bracket. So we have to be careful while dealing with that negative. We are going to return back to put all our answers here. But we need to take this individually to solve and bring it back. So here, we need to solve this, solve this, solve this, solve this, solve this, solve this, and return all your answers back. Solving this, any answer you get here, call it A, here becomes B, here becomes C, here becomes D, here becomes E, and here becomes F. Hence, our answer will be in the form of A plus B, plus C, plus D, plus E, plus F. So, solving this, we have solved this, this is A, and we have solved this, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E, and this is F. Put it together is A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F. And I will leave you to open up all the brackets.
I want you to pause the video at interval to see how I got A, B, C, D, E, and F to finally give us this.